parts 1 and 2 I described the evolution of the Great White and the Megalodon, which are popular as collector shark teeth, but this is part 3 where I'm going to describe some other popular collector shark teeth. Alright, so now that we've uh, talked about the uh, great white and the megalodon, we can go into uh, some other species here that aren't really related. This is Paleocarcharodon, which is also known as the pygmy white shark. They are a very old species which are descendant from Cretolamina. This is another very rare collector's tooth called Paratotus benendini. It's a very rare collector's shark tooth. We don't know very much about them, what they look like. We do know that they are a lamniform, that is a shark that is in the same family as great whites and makos. But uh, we don't know if they look like a thresher shark or a mako or what they look like. Very little is known about them. Here are two different species of giant thresher. This is the regular giant thresher and this is the cusp giant thresher which is extremely rare. This is the snaggletooth shark. You look at the serrations of the teeth you can kind of figure out why they call it that. They have these really wicked um, nasty downward facing serrations and the uh, upper and lower teeth look very different in this species. Both of these teeth are over two inches long which is the uh, magic mark meaning they go up in value exponentially once they hit the two inch mark. Both of these are very fine. This one is uh, from Aurora, North Carolina phosphate mine and this one's from the Bone Valley phosphate mine here in Florida. And sometimes the snaggle tooth is confused with these tiger shark teeth. We have four different species of tiger here. This is the Mayumbus, the Contortus, Eglisami, and modern tiger. And uh, these tiger shark teeth um, are believed to uh, be shaped like that because it's good for cutting through turtle shell. It's a more efficient design through cutting through sea turtle shell, which is one of their favorite uh, foods. Over here we have three very common shark teeth that you're very likely to find if you're on a beach doing shell collecting. We have the sand tiger shark, which is a very narrow tooth with side cusps. If you've ever been to an aquarium like uh, SeaWorld, you're, you'll see these because they're popular aquarium sharks. They're the really um, nasty looking ones with the teeth hanging out. There's a bull shark tooth, which is a very common species to find. And a lemon shark, which may just look like teeth without serrated blade. Here we have a seven gill shark, also commonly known as a cow shark. The bottom teeth have more cones than the upper teeth do. And this is a, a scissor tooth shark. The scientific name is Edustus Heinrichi. Uh, very strange shark because they have Instead of having what we think of as a jaw, they have two blades with multiple teeth that act like a pair of scissors. And it's thought that they, these uh, mostly preyed upon ammonites and uh, specialized teeth for uh, cutting through the shell of uh, ammonites. And uh, you'll see here that it has a uh, multiple teeth. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
unfortunately they're all broken, which, you know, happens because they're excavated in coal mines, and uh, you don't know you've uh, found one until you've hit it with uh, drilling equipment. So and You'll also see the shiny part there, that's uh, coal, because they come from uh, coal mines, they're very old, old uh, specimens, very rare too. And here we have a complete tooth on just one piece of jaw section. Give you an idea of what the whole tooth looks like.